In this video, we are going to see how to install the Wi-Fi Pineapple firmware on an old router. For those unfamiliar with the Wi-Fi Pineapple, it's made by Hack5. The Hack5 Pineapple is a sort of swift army knife for wireless penetration testing. It allows users to create rogue Wi-Fi networks enabling them to intercept and analyze network traffic for security testing purposes, of course, and using its web interface, it can perform various wireless attack easier, including evil portal, man in the middle, and DNS poisoning, to mention a few of them. On GitHub, the work made by X Schwarzer is based on the Pineapple Nano and Tetra. It was noting that this device reached the end of life in 2020. However, they are still relevant and it decided to develop scripts to port them into various routers. I will recycle a TP-Link Archer router bought on a second-hand marketplace in Europe for about 20 euros. And I bet you could find similar prices or even cheaper options. The good news is that the developer X Schwarzer has created firmware for several devices. This means you might find better alternatives in your local marketplace. If you have been following my latest experiments on the channel, you might have noticed I'm tinkering with Enzyme, the wireless network intrusion detection system. I've set up two nodes, including their tap on a Raspberry Pi 5 and on a Zima board. Now I wanted to have a new Bandit to play with them and generate different type of attacks on my own premises. When it comes to downloading and installing the OpenWRT version, I followed the tutorial and went with the 19.07.7. This specific version is necessary because the Wi-Fi Pineapple custom firmware is based on it. So I will let you download the Squash fsfactory.bin file designed for your router. The web interface will vary depending on your router, but the path should be similar to mine. In the system tool section, you will find a firmware upgrade option. Here you can upload the squash fsfactory.bin file we downloaded earlier. The OpenWRT firmware has been successfully flushed. It's now time for our first login. So I will paste the IP address of the router. Here it's by default 192.168.1.1. I press enter. And then I'm prompt for my password, which is the same as the username, which is root here. I press enter again and here we go we are logged in to the OpenWRT dashboard for the Wi-Fi pineapple cloner build I will save my time by downloading the pre-compiled build it's up to you whether you prefer to compile it yourself for this project as always you will find the relevant link in the description here I like to live dangerously and I deliberately flashed from the GUI contrary to documentation suggestions I'm aware that I could have damaged rotor if something went wrong. It's indeed safer to upload and run the update command via the command line instead. However, you will notice I didn't select keep settings during the update to ensure I wasn't carried over any old configurations. You will know when the router has finished the installation. After rebooting, you might notice different status light turned on briefly. While we could say the tutorial part is over, feel free to keep watching if you'd like a quick walkthrough. Let's paste the URL of the pineapple. We have the welcome message, so let's get started. Okay, we have all the change log here, so 
I will click on continue. So thanks again to XRATS to provide this code and the scripts. So yeah, I'm seeing C screen for the first time. So okay, quickly reset the button upside to, to go. Okay, I'm not sure if I have a button for this. Okay, so what I did here, I actually press on the WPS Wi-Fi on and off. So here my Archer have it on his back, some router have it on its front, and the result is indeed, I have disabled the Wi-Fi. So what do we want to do first here is to set up a new network with the SSID passwords and then we could go and move on with all the, the setup. This is the first time I'm using this dashboard so be indulgent and if you know better than I please let me know in the comment section if I made any mistake we are here to learn and share. So first section device configuration. I have set the root password of course, I want to own the box and made any changes on it. Set time zone. So of course, here I'm going to put my real location. So here I'm in Europe. So I set up Paris. You could put whatever you want, of course, but that's for logging purposes. Then I will have logs that is really human readable. I know it's the same time uh, where I'm living, right? So next stop is radio configuration and here we could set up two ap the first access point would be the management one so when you want to make any configuration with the dashboard or settings you want to go there so i name it wi-fi because yeah it's really random and i will not hide it and the second one is access point which is dedicated or aimed for targets. So I'm not going to target anybody. Let's be clear. My goal here is really to learn from enzyme detection capabilities and having the pineapple will have really help me to deploy several scenario really quickly and easily with the GUI. And the radio country code, of course, with the Wi-Fi, you have different channels and depending where you live, you are allowed to use more or less of them. So you need to put where you live, basically, to avoid any interferences. Next section, filter and firewall. Here the goal is really to limit the device that are allowed to connect to the pineapple here. And there are several ways. With the MAC address, you could allow whatever device to connect to the box here. So I want to put a kind of a, a low list really wide because I don't want to restrict any, any of my device. SSID filter settings. So I really think this one is important because I don't want the pineapple to mess with any neighbor's Wi-Fi network. I want it to be restricted to the Wi-Fi network I own. So this one will be definitely something I will look to customize and add all the different SSID for my test. And last but not least in the firewall settings, if I want to allow SSH settings and web access from the one port. So this device, I don't want to connect to the internet. So I'm okay for allowing both SSH and web access towards the one port. And of course here, yeah, any legal, so I guess we have to accept it. Okay, I click on complete setup. We are logged in. First menu I've played with is the recon one. So I have scanned both 
2.4 and 5 gigahertz networks with some pineapple clone and I have result. It's pretty interesting because unlike any let's say small network card or USB one this router is much more powerful. My revisit my first order board not connecting the Pine clone to the internet or at least give it a restricted access because here's the modules might want to get modules from the internet or github page now i could still update them manually i think but it could be more handy also for the reporting if i want to send automatic emails with the logs from the clone pineapple that might be handy but i will keep this for but i will keep this for another video so thank you for watching and stay tuned for new experiments